So, a really impressive new AI image generator called Flux.1 or Flux has just been released and many could not resist the temptation to call it a mid-journey killer. Black Forest Labs, the team behind the original Stable Diffusion, launched Flux. With a staggering 12 billion parameters, Flux can deliver visuals that rival those of mid-journey and possibly beat any other model currently available. Today, I am going to dive into Flux AI to see how good it is and how you can start using it today for free. Let's get started. Let's start by looking at some image samples created with Flux AI. The first image shows a bedroom with a portal on the wall that leads to a mythical forest. The prompt for this image is a portal into a mythical forest on the wall of my small messy bedroom. It seems that the prompt adherence of the Flux AI image generator is really good. Plus, its creativity is also admirable. The second image is about a detailed cinematic render of an old dusty CRT monitor on a wooden desk in a dim, messy room. Items are scattered around and the screen displays the letters flux glowing softly. It's a high detail hard surface render. Here's another image showing an underwater scene where two owls sit at a fancy dining table with a lit candle in the center enjoying a lovely dinner together. The owl on the left is wearing a tuxedo while the owl on the right wears a nice dress. In the background a submarine passes by with what a hoot painted on its side. Little jellyfish swim around below the table in this beautifully cinematic digital artwork. What is truly astonishing is that flux AI can generate realistic looking people. The images appear as though they were taken by a camera. Even more impressive is the accuracy of the hands and fingers. Another strong point of Flux AI is its ability to render text with impressive accuracy. Unlike many other AI image generators that often struggle with creating precise text, Flux stands out for its capability to handle this challenge effectively. This makes it a valuable tool for projects requiring clear and accurate text rendering. Black Forest Labs offer Flux.1 in three distinct variants. Flux.1 Pro, Flux.1 Dev, and Flux.1 Schnell. Flux.1 Pro is the best and it offers state-of-the-art performance image generation with top-of-the-line prompt following, visual quality, image detail, and output diversity. You can access it via Replicate and File.ai. Flux.1 Dev is an open-weight, guidance-distilled model for non-commercial applications. Directly distilled from Flux.1 Pro, it obtains similar quality and prompt adherence capabilities while being more efficient than a standard model of the same size. You can access it via Hugging Face, Replicate and Fal.ai. Flux.1 Schnell is the fastest model tailored for local development and personal use. It is openly available under an Apache 2.0 license. You can access it via Hugging Face, Replicate and Fal.ai. I will include all the links to use Flux in this video's description. You can also use Anakin AI to access all three models in one place. If you're unfamiliar with Anakin AI, you can watch the video appearing on your screen. Now let's generate some images and compare the models. Here is a picture generated using mid journey. The prompt is, Ada Cox swims the butterfly stroke, you see her from the front, diving goggles on her head, a swimming cap on, this is 1955. I will use the same prompt to generate it with the Flux.1 Pro model. Here's how Flux1 Pro compares to Midjourney. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison among three of the Flux.1 models using the same prompt. Finally, let's run the same prompt in the Stable Diffusion 3 and Doll E3 models. Now there is also a model called Flux Realism LoRa and I found that the images that come out with this model look hyper realistic. So, what do you think of this Flux AI? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and share it with others. And if you want to see more videos on the latest AI tools and insights, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.